now we shall move to the concept of quicksand okay uh, from the knowledge of critical hydraulic gradient now what happens at critical hydraulic gradient okay. when water flows up in the soil seepage force exerted by the water on the soil particle balances the weight of the soil particles what is happening water is flowing in the upward direction so along with this upward flow uh, the soil particles are also going or flowing in the upward direction and because of this the soil particles will exert the drag force on each other okay and the self weight of the soil particles is literally balanced by the upward flow of water okay so what happens is because of this soil particles seem to be suspended in the water okay and in this situation soil does not behave as soil but it should behave as a viscous liquid okay because it is going to uh, balance the weight of the soil particles because of upward flow of water and what happens more here is it loses its all the shear strength and it is not able to support any load okay there is no load carrying capacity for the soil in this situation so this phenomena is called quicksand okay when soil loses its all shear strength and it is not able to support any load that situation of the soil sample is known as quicksand okay let us see further information on quicksand so we can see one point to be noted here this is not a type of sand but it is a hydraulic condition okay many a times we may get confused uh, with uh, the quicksand as type of sand no it is not a type of sand it is a hydraulic condition quicksand it is also known as boiling okay now what is boiling boiling occurs primarily in sand and silts okay so what is the reason boiling in is less prominent in clays so we don't find this phenomena of boiling in clay type of soil it is because of two main reasons one the clay particles they are poorly connected points and there is cohesion between the soil particles so if whatever the soil sample of clay is there the soil particles are connected or they have certain cohesive force of attraction between them but there is a lot of void in between them okay boil boiling this phenomena it does not occur in coarse sand and gravel as well why because in order to lift a gravel particle why lifting upward because boiling is taking place when water is flowing in the upward direction so seepage has to be in the upward direction so when water is flowing in upward direction in a soil like coarse sand or gravel here gravel particle which is individual particle it needs to be lifted up against the gravity and in order to lift this against gravity large amount of water pressure is required hence quick sand phenomena or boiling does not occur in coarse sand and